Hello friends, this is Gökçe from cgcave.com and today we are going to learn about uh, trim and extend tools under editable spline which will help us uh, create more complex shapes, more complex splines, uh, let's say. I'm going to hit T to go to the top view and grab the rectangle tool and I'm going to create a rectangle. Hit P to go to the perspective window, G to get rid of the grids. And what I want to do is I want to create a new uh, shape and I want to attach these two and I want to trim one of them uh, using the other one. So let's create another rectangle, select the original rectangle and add an edit spline modifier on top. Hit the attach tool and attach these two together. Now they are combined or joined whatever uh, or let's say attached. They are one object to summarize. And now as these are um, attached, uh, I want to go to hit three to go to the spline sub object mode. And under there, I'm going to find trim and extend in here. Okay. If you hit trim, you can just click on any part of any spline in here and it will trim that spline uh, to the next contact points with other splines. So let's just click on this one. For example, it got rid of this portion because two contacts were this and this, and it got rid of the spline in the middle. And if you click here, then you will get rid of this side in here. Or you can just uh, do the same for the inner uh, segment in here. I can just click on it and it will get rid of the mid part. Okay. So trim will help us uh, trim unnecessary parts of any spline. Uh, I, I'm going to show this uh, uh, to you in action. I'm going to just create a meaning, uh, try to create a meaningful shape. But first, let's look at the extend tool as well. And what extend does is uh, it does the opposite of trim. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to just draw a line in the original rectangle. And then I'm going to just attach this one to our uh, original spline object as well. And then I'm going to hit three again and hit the extend tool and then just click on any part of this. And you can see that it extends that edge to the next contact point this time, okay? And you can just do the same in here as well. Okay, these two are very useful uh, tools when you're trying to create complex shapes. So let's uh, think uh, how we can use this uh, in action. Uh, let's say we, again, are creating, creating walls, for example, uh, try to create mid uh, inner walls in a floor plan, okay? We did this in the previous lesson and we used trim, uh, as you can remember, uh, I guess two lessons before. Uh, but I, I want to just go through this and just mention uh, this tool um, by itself. And I want to just get into it a little bit more deeper, I guess. I'm going to hit T and create a new uh, rectangle. Let's uh, set the size to 5 meters by 5 meters. Okay, this is a living room, for example. And then I'm going to just add a edit spline on top. Hit 3. Uh, by the way, even if you are not an architect or interior architect, uh, you need to know these things. If uh, I'm uh, in um, ed visualization, by the way, I'm not uh, doing 100% architecture visualization. Of course, I'm doing that by uh, on the side, but my main uh, thing is ed visualization. And I use these spline tools a lot as well. So you need to create walls in ed visualization, obviously, but also... I'm using this to create more complex things like, I don't know, uh, plates, ice creams, whatever the uh, edge requires, okay? So don't just uh, drift off there. These uh, things will be helpful for you if even if you are not doing uh, architecture visualization. So I'm going to just outline this 20 centimeters and you can see that we have, let's make it 10 because this is not, uh, this is an interior thing, interior, uh, just a room. So let's keep the walls a little bit thin. It doesn't really matter what, for now, let's just do it like this. And then I want to add an inner wall to this. Okay. I'm, and I'm going to just draw a new rectangle and just uh, set the dimensions to th 300 by 10. And you can see that this has a, um, uh, this is a new uh, block of a rectangle. Okay. And now what I want to do is uh, I want to hit S to uh, activate the snaps. I'm going to just be sure that the vertex snap is enabled. I'm going uh, to do that. I've right clicked on this, you know, it from before, I guess. And then I'm going to uh, just grab this from here, the uh, corner, and then move it to the uh, other corner in here. Okay. 
Uh, from here on, you can just move the wall inwards uh, as much as you like. I can just change my uh, world to offset or mode to offset mode. And then I can just uh, hit W to go to the move tool uh, and type in a number in the X uh, slot in here. Uh, let's type in 200. I want to move this in two meters. And now you have uh, a wall or an a extra piece that you know uh, where it is, which you know where it is, okay? So what I want to do is to attach this to the original shape and then I'm going to hit three, go to trim and just trim this portions out, okay? Uh, by the way, it left these in here so you can just select them, uh, let's hit one to go to the vertex mode, select these and delete them. Uh, again, hit three and trim this one, this opening as well. And then I'm going to hit control A uh, in the vertex mode and then hit weld. This way I can just extrude this, as you know, from all of the examples we uh, did. Okay, so you can use this trim uh, a lot. Uh, I guess extend uh, is a little bit less used, but again, let's find the use for it in this example. Uh, what I can do, let's say we want to close this uh, wall in here and I want to just hit two and just delete this portion in here. Then I can hit three and extend this edge on, uh, up to this wall in here, okay? And then I can just uh, hit one to delete this vertex in here, hit two to uh, detach these two. Or just you can click here and break. Break is uh, actually we saw this as well. What break does is it breaks the vertices and separates it to two, word, two separate vertices. Uh, this way I can hit three to go uh, to select this spline in here and I can outline this separately. Okay, I can just type in 10 for this and you can see that. We have a new wall in here and then I can just get rid of the undesired edges. You don't need to use trim on that edge, but we need to use trim uh, on this one because uh, this is not a separate piece in here. So I'm going to just hit three and trim this. Uh, this happens sometimes to get rid of this. You can just, uh, let's delete this one. Okay, I guess I guess I can do this in a different way. I can just get rid of this edge in here and just select this edge in here. I can just copy this or let me show you an easier way. Actually, there are a lot of different things you can do and you you need to combine them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new line between these two. To do that, there's a tool called create line and you can just click, click. And this will just create a new line in there. And when, then I can just, again, go to the vertex mode, weld all these vertices, and let's apply an extrude on top of this. Uh, I was uh, suspicious that th this wouldn't work. Uh, this is uh, what I do to control myself, as you can see. If i uh, mistaken, I can just go back and create a new uh, or different shape or fix what, what uh, is breaking this. And in this case, it's this edge in here. So what you can do is you can just activate automatic weld and then move this on top of the other one with uh, the snaps, of course. Okay. Now, if I apply, apply the extrude, you can see that we have no uh, open corners or anything. Okay. So you can see that uh, trim and extend are extremely useful in these types of situations. And again, if you're not doing architecture visualization, just uh, bear with me on, on these lessons. In Edit Poly, we will create or model a lot of uh, interesting shapes. But uh, these tools are really uh, helpful uh, in the long run. So please try to um, follow these through. Okay. Thanks. Uh, I hope you found it useful. If you find it useful, please hit the like button, the subscribe button and the notification bell next to the subscribe button. Thanks for listening. See you in the next lesson.